Hello friends, welcome to Green PC YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Today we will discuss about gastric volvulus. Volvulus means abnormal rotation. Gastric volvulus means abnormal rotation of the stomach. As we can see, there is a longitudinal axis in the stomach. It is called as organo axial. And there is a perpendicular axis. It is called as mesendro axial. The most common rotation takes place in longitudinal axis. The predisposing factors for this gastric volvulus includes diaphragmatic defect and laxity of gastrocolic and gastrosplenic ligament. Diaphragmatic defect includes paraesophageal hernia and congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Paraesophageal hernia is more common in adults whereas congenital diaphragmatic hernia is more common in children. Gastric volvulus is associated with abdominal pain. The classic triad seen in gastric volvulus is Borchardt's triad. It includes epigastric pain, retching with vomitus, and the inability to pass nasogastric tube. And let's have a look into treatment options for gastric volvulus. If diaphragmatic defect is present, we have to correct it first. Fund application is done for paraesophageal hernia. Compromised parts are resected. If the gastric volvulus is associated with the laxity of gastrocolic and gastrosplenic ligament, first we have to detort the volvulus part, then resect the necrosed part if any present, then later gastropexy to strengthen the ligaments. Thank you very much. Let's solve this MCQ. Borchardt's triad is seen in option A gastric volvulus, option B sigmoid volvulus, option C diverticulitis, option D megacolon. Yeah. That's it guys.